Good morning, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens and you're watching our YouTube channel. So we're here on day one down in a historic village of Detroit. These homes here date back to the early 19th century. In fact, the home that we're working on that I'm showing you right now is actually an Albert Kahn design. Albert Kahn, while he was building this home, lived in the cottage next door that he had designed and built. Being a student of architecture, in the late 80s we had to study a lot of Albert Kahn um, designs and homes for um, for school I went to Lawrence Tech University and you know it was a great educational experience for us it was great that we were able to get down to the city of Detroit and the suburbs and visit a lot of these different types of homes and view this type of architecture that's out here so I'm going to take you into the backyard I'll show you what we're going to do. What we have planned for this uh, project is a pondless waterfall that, um, and you know a pondless waterfall by now if you've seen our other videos, is a waterfall that actually disappears into a hidden basin. After that what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a small patio next to the water feature. Uh, just um, what we like to call one and done stones, large pieces of flagstone, two-man carry stones that can fill up a space very very quickly. So our site is very small, uh, access is very small. Without further ado, the guys are on their way. Let's go look at that backyard. Alright, so we got this really cool backyard, very quaint. This is a lilac here that's uh, overhanging a walkway coming through. A walkway coming from the main house to the carriage house. What we're going to do is we're going to create a set of steps in this area here. Coming down to this sunken area here. Here we've got a wall separating this residence and then there's an alley and then a residence behind so there's access in the back. So up on top, in the back corner, we're going to have a, our spillway. It's going to twist, turn, come down, go into our hidden basin. This area here between the pink lines, here and here, we're going to create um, a sunken patio so the homeowners can sit and enjoy their water feature. So from the house itself, there's plenty of windows up on top, down below, entrances into their backyard. Follow along with us while we create another masterpiece. All right, so we've hit our first snag. Like a wise man once said, a life without problems is the definition of hell. So, let me show you what we've already run into. So, the utility companies have been out. We've got uh, electric and cable up there. And gas line running along here. Initially, we set our basin this side of the uh, gas line. But, right down in here, That's where the gas line is. It's about seven, eight feet away. Well, I guess they were close when they marked it, but uh, not close enough. So what we did is we moved our, our basin this way. And because we are gonna do a patio in here, talking with the homeowners, they'd like to get as much square footage of this patio as possible. So we're gonna take this wall of existing boulders and we're gonna shift it back just a little bit 
give them a little bit more room here. This large overgrown wild rose right through here. We're going to take that out. The hostas will be coming out down below. The guys are bringing in more material right now. We'll just keep rolling. All right, so we're on day two for this uh, Detroit backyard pondless waterfall and patio installation. We had a lot of rain last night, so we've got some mud on site. The guys have the basin installed right in through here. You can see they're working on the stream. So here's our basin here. They've got a bib liner underneath this layer of gravel so that way the water will travel from the last drop forward. This is a nice secluded area. It's all fenced in with brick wall. Brick wall with the neighbor's garage over here and then the carriage house over on this side. It's not original to the house. It's a nice quaint little area that uh, will be a nice little sitting area. So we've carved this out back here a little further. That way we can extend the patio a little further this way. We will still have a couple steps back in through this area after this soils are taken out. On all of our pondless ones, when we can, we add a discharge. So there's two valves in here, one to control the flow up on top to shut that off in the springtime. There's another valve right in here underneath that fake rock. And then that'll discharge down into this storm sewer here for springtime. So access to the pump, we don't really have to have any access to that pump unless the pump itself fails and needs to be replaced. We go deep for our basins. They, the pumps do not need to be removed come wintertime for storage indoors because it doesn't freeze that deep. The earth around this entire basin will keep the water from freezing solid so the pump doesn't have to come out. They're working right now on setting this awesome looking fractured boulder. All right, so day three, the waterfall is up and running. They've got the entire area all dug out for the patio and you can see the guys have been working very hard. These are extra large uh, green mountain flagstone. These are approximately three inches thick, not light at all. So this is a sunken area. They've got a couple steps coming down. We will have some more of the green flagstone coming this way. What we're working on now is just filling in some of these little gaps. Now the gaps in between all this will be backfilled with topsoil. All the stones will be leveled out. Moss or creeping thyme would be really nice to have growing in between all this. As they extends the landscape a little bit further, it helps soften the, the hardscape by adding plants. All right, so this is the final day down here in Detroit and um, we're all done. It's a good project. I really loved working on this. It's a, what I like about this the most is it's, the project is nestled between two very historic architectural uh, garages. And um, I can't sugarcoat it any more than that. They're garages. But the architecture on these garages, um, you don't see this very often. So without further ado, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you um, how this project actually turned out. All right, so we've got a gravel pathway that leads down to our sunken patio. We had a couple extra stones and the homeowner just wanted to be able to possibly maybe put an umbrella camouflage or cantilevering over their bistro table down below. We've got a couple steps here that will lead us down. We've got a raised bed on this side here that she can do some plantings as maybe a phase two. So the homeowner is trying to minimize the amount of uh, maintenance that she has. She doesn't want the uh, the look or the the weeds to come through the um, through the joints. So our jointing material for this is cracked cobblestone. This is our water feature that they can see from up at the house. What do you think? We've got multiple drops. We've got our pump down in here, our basin here. We've got lights at night here. Uh, and every one of the drops, I really like what the guys did with the fractured stones, having some multiple drops in these. And that's all we're using is 
uh, field stone boulders that are fractured a couple of them you can maybe guess this one here and this one here so they had a crack in them and what better place to marry them together just to be able to give us multiple drops right there lights gonna highlight that at night I think it came out really good let us know in the comments below and let's hear what the homeowner has to say all right so what do you think it's absolutely beautiful I, we should have done this years ago it's perfect it's just perfect so you guys are happy with the outcome very happy with the outcome except for the fact that it's getting cold and we probably won't be able to enjoy it as much as we want you know and i didn't tell you this before but you can run this all winter long really fresh fallen snow blanking that waterfall can you imagine that would be really pretty so we don't have to worry about it freezing as long as it's running exactly that right exactly that would be cool that would be really pretty so with a little bit of planting yep over here phase two next year some more maybe some shade trees inside this so we're going to come back here next year and we'll do an update on the progress of this backyard sounds good